All right, so one thing that I think that was majorly overdue to talk about is the Ryobi garage door opener. Not just uh, any garage door opener, the One Plus garage door opener. Now, this was one of the earlier tools that I had to get because we had no power in this garage when I first bought this house. And so I relied on the One Plus system to allow us to have a garage door opener because my wife and I grew extremely tired of actually physically opening and closing the garage. And so after uh, doing some major research last year, uh, it turns out that the system that I bought into had a battery operated garage door opener. And I thought that was absolutely amazing. And then it turns out that they had accessories for it. And it also looks extremely cool. I seriously like the way that it looks. Uh, it, and it, it just, it, it does the trick in every way uh, possible. And so just because of that, uh, I, I, I had to get it. And so they had uh, a Black Friday sale to where I got the One Plus garage door opener for $150. And it came with an app. And I didn't even know that. So I, I can do it right here. And it doesn't, you do not need to be on the same Wi Fi system. As long as your device has internet anywhere, it will work. So let's, uh. And then bam. Now let's put it back up. I didn't try that yet. I think it has to, when it comes to this, it has to do its cycle. Then let's put it up. Bam. So I didn't even know that it had that. Now I did install this, I did install one thing incorrectly when it comes to the, the sensor that goes onto the garage door itself and that sensor tells you if it's open or closed. So I didn't. I I just got lazy. I didn't bother to do it again because it was uh, cold outside. It was winter, and I I got lazy. So no matter what, my garage door opener says it is closed. But let's take this test on the road with the app. So let's go. So as you can see, on the. The driveway I got some grass to blow back into the yard. All right, so for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the camera here so you can see the garage door from here, and I'm going to walk all the way to the stop sign, and hopefully the camera doesn't get stolen. So, let's see. Fantastic. All right, so how this works is the garage door is connected to Wi-Fi, and then that system just continuously runs. And then, as, or, or it shuts down, and it opens as soon as you open the app. So as long as your device has internet, you could open this garage door from anywhere. So let's say a family is a uh, member's coming over and they don't have a key to the house, but they need something in the garage, you could open it right then and there at work and close it for them without them making a, a, a wasteful trip. You know, it also it comes with two car garage door openers, one wall mount garage door opener, and it comes with two... Uh, the laser setting system to where it'll prevent it from closing if the laser system breaks. 
Ah, uh, it's like it's something uh, is underneath the, the the door. It does come with a keypad for outside, and the accessories are unbelievable. Like what I have on there is I have the extension cord that you could pull down, and I have the laser parking system to where as soon as you get the laser to a certain area of your dashboard you know to stop to know that your car is fully in the garage without having to get out and look because as you can see in our situation we have a door right here that we need to be able to open so we can't be too close or the, the limitation would be uh, we'd have limitation to walk through the door if my especially with my car if my car is parked too close so that majorly helps out a lot so I could park just right every time so I could close the garage and gain access to this door and not be close to this so this garage door is awesome it seriously is right now I have uh, an extension cord going to it but what we're gonna do is we're gonna see uh, how many times we could open and close this garage door with a 1.5 amp hour battery so, gotcha. So let's see what uh, let's see what happens. All right. So as you can see, I have no battery in there whatsoever. Now you could put any size battery in there, but the only batteries that will uh, fit in there with this closing is a four amp hour battery or smaller. So the 6 amp hour battery does fit in there, the 9 amp hour battery does fit in there, but you won't be able to close the door. The door will be open with those batteries. And I'll show you right now. We got a 6 amp hour. Door won't close. It stays open about an inch and a half. And a 9 amp hour. door stays open about two inches so uh, technically the battery does fit in there and work but the door won't close so uh, I already know that a four amp hour battery is would last a, a long time in here but we're gonna test out and see how many bars it takes if you open and close this ten times with a 1.5 amp hour battery I also treat this like uh, like a power source too because this has plugs all around it so as you can see the, the white cord right there that actually goes to this light right here and so I use I use this as I use this garage door opener as uh, an extension cord in many ways so but we're going to unplug we're going to unplug this right here and so right now uh, as you see the light went off uh, I do have a power uh, the battery in there and the, it's still on but just in case we're going to unplug the white one too uh, and the, I already tested those uh, outlets that are around the garage opener will not operate unless if this is plugged into a power source uh, from the wall. So the battery, well, I'm assuming the battery I'm assuming is only going to operate the low powering accessories and the garage opener itself. First one we're going to do is this that. Ooh, wow, there's a big difference in power when it comes to uh, using a 1.5 amp hour battery in here. I could tell already that the motor is struggling a little bit and it closes the door a lot slower. So let's see on how it uh, 
It does give you a battery status if you have a battery in there. It does tell you the, set, the status bar on that, so let's open it. And as you can see, this uh, even with power, this garage door opener is quiet. Now what you hear right now is my old springs in the door. These springs are very old. It's an old system because my springs are not above the door. They're actually on the side. All right, so let's put it down. I'm actually gonna keep this open. Wow, what a difference in power. Seriously. Alright, let's open it back up. So this is the third, we're on our third time opening and closing the garage door. Uh, I can tell that that motor's struggling a little bit with that power. I, I, I love on how quiet this garage door opener is. All right, I d just in case if I don't believe the app, I'm gonna take the battery out. Full bars still. Full bars. So let's open it up again. All right, so what we're gonna do now is that that's, I think that's number five. So what we're gonna do now is take this Batteries are full charge. The 1.5 amp hour battery is still at full charge. A 4 amp hour battery and see what the power difference is between the 1.5 and 4. Yeah, I think it has to do the, the system calculations really quick. There we go. Let's put it down. All right, so let's put the nine amp hour battery in and see what it can do. Now we'll, I gotta let it cycle for a minute. Not ready yet. There we go. It takes a few sec. It takes like probably 15 seconds to program. It is, it's moving a little bit faster, but I think it's because the battery, it only, it, it doesn't work as fast as a cord. But if you don't have power in your garage period and you want a garage door opener, I don't care in how fast it opens the garage. As long as it opens and works continuously on a daily basis, where I don't need to change this battery out every time I open and close the garage. So the garage door opener really, really works with a, a battery operated system. And this is an old door. This is a heavy door. It's not today's technology. Like this was, it's like a 1960s door. It's ugly, it's hideous, you know, but you know, it's a door. You know, it's not aluminum or it's not uh, whatever materials that they make uh, garage doors out of. It's an old heavy door. So let's plug that back in. There we go, plug that back in. See then there's gonna be a there is gonna be a big power difference when it comes to uh, it being plugged in. You're gonna hear it. Okay, hear the extra whining. All right, so let's push this. Yeah, see, you can hear, you, you can hear it.
So this this garage door opener came in extremely handy when we first moved in here because it's a I I didn't have power anywhere. As you can see in my uh uh very first videos, if you go way back to like episode ten, my lighting was terrible, and that's because I was running stuff. Uh, off of extension cords and I wasn't able to have lighting in a certain area because uh, I was limited. So now that after I got power in here, you know, thanks to my father-in-law help, helped me out with it, I was able to get power to that and power to this. But these batteries truly did help when it comes to the garage door opener. Now, I don't know why, but people aren't buying into this uh, garage door opener, which Everyone that I talk to, I'm like, get this garage door opener. It's great. It's quiet. It's fantastic. I mean, I, I had this for a year, and it, I did, never failed once. Never glitched on me. Never messed up. And uh, uh, the next thing I want to get for it is the camera. I seriously want to get the camera for that and uh, so I can, like, look at a live video footage and just, like, look at my tools you know, of course, it's going to be uh, at an angle to see if someone breaks in here or, uh, or whatever, but the camera is what I want next. Now, we're going to go over the accessories in a different video. So, yeah, as you can see, my dog barks at almost anything, but he barely could hear this garage or opener at all. So, he doesn't go crazy when I open this because he can't hear it. And the windows are open right now. So, he'll be, like, you'd be hearing that the entire time of opening and closing that if, if he knew that it was being opened and closed so this thing is awesome I, I it comes with an app I that seriously you know, like a, you're on your phone all the time you know and you could uh, calibrate stuff you could uh, uh, turn the light on on and off lights off lights on you know, and of course, the, the accessories that you put on there, those will pop up in here. Like, if I get the camera, then this would read that there's a camera there. And then I could have the options and access that camera on here. Same thing with the Bluetooth speaker. You know, but we're going to go with the accessories in a different video. Uh, but I messed up when it comes to installing the uh, opener itself because it's a little too low. I'll show you really quick. The garage door opener and the bar are too close together. It's too close. It doesn't hit, but it's just too close together. I'm going to have to raise this probably like about five inches. And so that means I'm going to have to re I'm going to have to redo that. The lighting right here, it's lined as you can see if I break it. Oh, the camera's breaking it. So it, it's actually correct. The other sensor is right there. And this, this is the sensor I messed up on when it comes to programming. Uh, so my garage door opener app will always say it's closed because I programmed this wrong. And I've just been too lazy to, to fix it, which I'm going to. I'm going to fix that soon. There we go. And that's pretty much it. If you need a new garage door opener, get this one they make two versions i'll show you a picture of the other one the other one is not a one plus system this one's the one plus system the other one is just this without the extra ports on the side for accessories it has some ports but not as much as this and it's powered by the one plus system so that's pretty much it i'll put those in the link below and this is david nicholas thank you for tuning in and i'll see you guys next time